What is up y'all, OD of NABC here once again, and today we are going to have a non-alcoholic beer, Pumpkin Showdown. To my left here, we have the Pilot Brew from Wellbeing, just called Pumpkin Ale. And to my right, Dark and Gordy from Athletic Brewing Company. Both are pumpkin beers, although they are slightly different. Now this here is a porter, where this is more, I would say, your uh, traditional pumpkin beer in the sense that it's like a cross between like a brown ale and a pale ale. The Dark and Gordy on the label says they put pumpkin in it. Uh, this does not disclose what is in it. But yeah, let's crack them open and uh, see what the differences are. All right, we're going in Gordy first. So yeah, this is like a pumpkin porter. Nice looking beer. Definitely porter looking. Um, kind of like a very, very dark to black. Uh, kind of an off white head that's fading quickly. Got like some, oh yeah, I can see some red hue there. Um, through the glass. Let's get the aroma. Very nice, you get um, subtle cinnamon, subtle nutmeg, subtle clove, a little bit of like pumpkin sweetness. And then of course you get um, some like chocolate coffee from the porter, some roasted malt, a little bit of that like, I always say like porters have like this lactose kind of thing going on to them. Not that they're putting lactose in this, I'm not saying that, but to me, porters always kind of have like this like lactose-esque like sweet, like caramel thing kind of going on, sort of. Let's get a taste. All right, so everything is in the flavor that I said was in the aroma. The nutmeg, the cinnamon are there. They're very light, you get some pumpkin. And then yeah, you just get like a nice porter flavor. Um, roasted malt, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of like chocolate, coffee. It's like an English style porter, had a baby with a pumpkin beer. All right, let's check out the Wellbeing Pumpkin Ale. I don't know if this pumpkin ale is available on their website anymore. Um, I know you can go check. If it is, I will put a link in the description so you can buy it. But uh, it may be out of it by now. I'm not really sure. I bought this a while back and just haven't gotten around to reviewing it. And I figured, why not do both pumpkin beers at once with the help of Mr. Michael Myers up there in all of his different forms. Nice looking pumpkin beer, kind of a cloudy orange yellow. Nice white head that's sticking around for a little while. Let's get the aroma on this. Okay, so this has more up front, the uh, cinnamon, the clove, the nutmeg, the uh, the pumpkin. This uh, kind of is more, think like pumpkin spice beer. Yeah, a little more up front on this, and then of course, different color, um, different style base beer, so that's something to keep uh, you know in mind. Let's take a taste. Yeah, so this, it's more adjuncty, if <laughs> that makes any sense. More cinnamon, more clove, more sweetness, more more nutmeg. I'd say the mouth feels about the same on uh, on both styles. Uh, as far as me picking a favorite, I don't know if you can really compare them. It's like comparing apples to oranges or, you know, pumpkins to spaghetti squash. I don't know, it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for the traditional pumpkin spice style beer, I would grab the pumpkin ale from Wellbeing. If you are looking for Something a little different. Uh, I never quite had a pumpkin beer like this. Like I said, it tastes like an English porter. Had a baby with, well, a pumpkin beer. Yeah, overall, they're both really good. Um, again, it just kind of depends on what you want. I'd say that's a little more unique, a little more different. That's a little more traditional. And that is my take on the two beers. My name is Odeed and I'm out. Peace.